Hi everyone, I'm Matt Anson from MJ Enterprises. Hope you enjoyed last week's video about drain cable or temperature cables and uh, kind of how they work. This week I'm going to do one on monitors. Uh, I'm going to do it on the Stormax monitor here. I'm just going to show you how to program a bin and uh, read cables and look at a couple of the features. Uh, hope you enjoy it. So after your new cable is installed or your existing cable, it'll have an interconnect that'll come down and connect to the cable and come down the side of the bin and have a little docking connector on it that we'll plug into our handheld monitor. So we'll take and we'll turn our Stormax monitor on, with the on button here. So the next step is we're gonna take and hook this up to our bin by plugging the, this two pin interconnect into the top end of the Stormax monitor. So we'll plug it in. It'll wait, take a couple seconds and it'll say, please wait and then our temperature readings will read from this cable. So you can see that this cable has four sensors in it. As you can see on the right hand side, one, two, three, four. That indicates which sensor it, you're reading. And then in the graph there, you'll see the four sensors. It'll have a timestamp on top in the top right corner of the date and the time that you're recording. And you can see in the top left corner, there's three question marks. That means that this bin has, the cable has not been addressed to this bin. So I'll go through and on how you can do that. So the first thing we want to do is set up a new bin. So we'll go down here and hit the menu button and hit add group. And add group is just going to make us a new bin. And we're going to call this bin, bin one. So you'll hit the enter button so that it changes this to highlight one letter at a time. So we'll change that to bin one. You'll hit enter so that it highlights the whole thing and then to save it, then you have to hit accept to continue. It's kind of confusing. So then we have bin one there. So our next step is we're gonna hit menu again. We're gonna hit add cable. It's a Stormax cable. We're gonna leave the, the display number to C1. So we hit escape. And then we're going to give it an address of A1. So if you have multiple bins, you'll want to name them from A1 to as many bins as you want. It's very important that each cable has a different address so that it saves differently to the monitor so it knows when you plug into it what bin and which cable it is reading. So we'll hit enter and then we'll hit escape. And then we'll plug our cable in, which we already have. So we'll hit OK. It's, we're confirming that we're going to address this bin as ad, bin 1, address 1. So if you have multiple bins, you can have bin 1 and address A1, A2, A3, A4, depending how many cables you have in that bin. Hit OK. And there, that cable is now addressed to this bin. So if we wait a couple seconds here, it'll say, please wait. And it'll bring up our temperatures again here. And now you can see in the top left corner, it's addressed to bin one. So now if we go and unplug this interconnect here, it's gonna ask us if we want to log the data. So we will log it and now we have that saved. So now we can go back at a different date and view these temperatures. So now if you hit the view button, it'll take you back to your home screen. And if you go down and highlight this bin and hit enter. It'll pull up our last reading. And if you hit the page button, there's three pages that you can toggle through to view. So the first page is just showing you just a block of the temperatures. Second page is showing you your last reading. So it'll start putting more and more readings that you can toggle through going forwards and backwards to see that your last readings. And if you hit page again, it'll start to give you a graph. So every time, if you're plugging in once a week, the graph marks will start showing you if it's starting to trend up or down or hopefully just sideways. So on a moisture cable, it's a little bit different. So once when you plug in your monitor, uh, it's very important you see the software version has to be over 3.0 for it to be compatible with your moisture cables. So you'll plug it in and now you can see your temperature and your relative humidity, but we don't see our moisture there. So that's where it's important where we need to set 
what grain type is in here so we can put it on the pro appropriate grain curve. But also, you'll need to go menu and make sure that you have an asterisk beside show moisture content. So then just highlight that, press enter, and then you can hit escape. So next we'll go back, we'll hit view. We'll go back, we've named this bin, bin two. We'll hit the sideways button here to open it up. We'll come here and we'll hit menu again. And we'll go down to, to grain type. We'll hit enter. We'll pick say canolas in this bin. And now we can see the address of the cable and it's canola. So now if we unplug and plug back in, and then it'll show us our temperature, relative humidity, and moisture content. Well, thanks for watching everybody. Hope I was able to teach you something on the StormAx monitor system here. Next week, I'm gonna talk about OP Blue and uh, monitoring bins off your phones and tablets. Uh, once again, if you have any questions or comments, send me an email below.